you know, actually, Lindsay, can you pause it on one of these characters? Because I, yeah. I want to talk about Torb, uh, which is not oh, not yeah. anything I have anything to do with, but it's one of the Jason's projects that I've always like really appreciated. And Adrian as well. Yeah, I can we you can kind of see him there. Um, but this is one of I feel like your many like like um, character designs that is just just pure geometric shape. Um, and yeah. I feel like that's a thing. Like you, you like doing that kind of stuff. You're like, you can do these like big rock golems, you know, high fidelity stuff. But, uh, but there's something kind of charming about this, um, this thing where it kind of looks, looks sort of like anyone could do it. But, uh, but I don't know. I think there's some real subtlety to it. So yeah. What, what do you think? So I, this is going to sound really snooty, but I don't know. You guys know about like the Bauhaus school in Germany which was pre-World War II, there was this art movement in the Weimar Republic and they, you know, they, they, they basically changed architecture forever. Like they were these like, you know, intense designers. It's where the, the term form follows function comes from the Bauhaus. Like huh. it's like their obsession was with uh, the relationship between the human body and the space around it, which is the kind of the core of environment art, right? Like, how does it feel to be in this space? How does it feel to sit in this chair? Does it make sense with the human body and all this stuff? And uh, they kind of invented ergonomics too, in a way. Not uh -huh. invented, but they were really big on that. And um, this idea, this is, it's hard for me to articulate it because I think about it, but I don't talk about it a lot. But this idea of video games having things like textures really bothers me. I hate textures. I hate UV mapping. And even though, like, you know, when you look at code spells, you see these textures working together and it makes this pretty picture, it inside drives me crazy because it's artifice. It's totally fake. And, like, part of the Bauhaus thing was getting to, like, the purity of what you're seeing. Like, and so uh, Torb and Voxel and uh, our current game, Hockey Baki, which is a VR game. Is a, it's about like the geometry is what is what's there. Like I'm not doing normal maps and tricks to make the geometry look bumpier than it is. It's the light and the geometry, and that's what's there. Like you can reach out and touch it. The geometry is the collider, <laughs> and it has this feeling of like, well, if I was making a game in this digital space, like what am I looking at? I'm looking at polygons and simulated light. And the materials that those polygons have, obviously there is still artifice to it. It's all fake, but I I prefer that than like being like I'm gonna try to trick the person into seeing the real world. I would rather see what's in there. Like what what is it like to be in there with all this geometry moving around? And it isn't like literal. It's pure. Right. <laughs> if right. that makes sense. It's no, like I know. What you, I think I see what I, you're saying. And that's why also, like, and I think Adrian is obsessed with this also in terms of physics. Like, we're not, I'm not interested in a game with animations. That There's no animations in Torb. Yeah, it's all physics, right? It's all physics because that's what's happening. Yeah. Like, I, it, when you think of a video game, I mean, you code spells, uh, you press the button and it plays a movie. Right, yeah. It's yeah. a movie yeah. of somebody doing this and they're casting their spell. So every time you press that button, you're just playing the same movie and it's not dynamic. I mean, it can be when combined with all these other things, it can feel like it, but it's different than having a command for a character to put out their hand and it physically moves through the space and it, it, it's, not, uh, it's not playing a movie. It's happening right <laughs> if that makes sense yeah. it's actually happening if if you play the movie and the hand hits the wall sure you could program it to stop but like isn't it cooler if it just stops because it hits the wall like right. and then the wall becomes part of it I, to me that is that's like the goal right like eventually if you look at the unreal 5 demo you could yeah, watch that that's video crazy <laughs> they're talking about geometry you know, obviously there's textures and stuff in it, but like they're talking about a world where you make video games with no textures, just materials and geometry. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's the crazy. future. So I think like Torb is and, and Voxel are 
versions of that, like low res versions of that. Like we can't push, you know, like five million polygons per character, but we could push like twenty, yeah, <laughs> and then have a hundred characters, and it would look wild, you know, like and. As technology improves, sure, we'll keep going and keep upresing. But I like to work with like what's really happening instead of just trying to trick people into thinking that it's like real. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's obviously it's not what I do at work all day, right? Like at work all day, I'm trying to trick people. 